Uinta County School District is located in Evanston, Wyoming. It's a rural community in the southwest corner of Wyoming. We are uh, high plains, about 7,000 feet, a lot of snow, a lot of cold. Blue collar, we have a lot of mines, we have a lot of the oil and the gas, we have a lot of ranch kids. There are four elementaries, two middle schools and a high school. 2,700 students, staff of just over 500. Many would say that we were a fairly high performing district but we kind of hit a stagnant level. So that's when you know you need to start changing. The traditional teaching model really puts kids in rows. We teach them, we test them. If they don't get it, we move on anyway. If they get great, personally, I think a kid can feel lost. We really had to start focusing. What is the need of every kid, not just the class? We realized that the only way you can close that gap is to provide personalized learning. Just the whole notion of finding a way to meet every child where they're at I think resonated with everybody. We decided last year, 2015, 2016, that it was all or none. And basically stated, as you in a county school district number one, our emphasis, our goals, one of our strategies is this notion of personalized learning. The teachers led the change. We just provided them the resource, the materials that they needed. We had Education Elements come out to Uinta. It was a phenomenal experience. Education Elements led our entire staff, K through 12, through a blended learning process. They were very helpful of going into the classroom, learning the teacher's style, and trying to personalize each classroom for a teacher. Instead of saying this for everybody, it's no, what will work for you? Here are some samples. What do you want to try? what works best. I came away from that with this aha of just a way that I can change things in my classroom. Even though I'd always tried to do that, it was like all of a sudden I had like tools and resources and ideas to do that. I missed out on helping a lot of students in a traditional model. It seemed like every day I was just trying to find that sweet middle spot and try to reach them the best I could. Now I can have individual conversations with students each day and and figure out where they're at and take them to the next step, wherever that may be. Providing them activities where they can be self-directed helps them start to build those skills that we know as adults are going to be critical. So boys and girls, we're going to go into our math rotations. So is it a quadrilateral anymore? Or one of my kids came in and he said, I love your class. And so I said, what do you love? And he says, I love making choices. I love knowing what I need to learn and being the one to get to choose how to get there. And to me, that's the biggest part of personalized learning, that the kids are in on it. When we get to decide our own learning, it makes it so you can do what you want. It's better to set our own goals than have a teacher just, here, this is your goal. Over the last three years, we've been able to take what used to be kind of stagnant to start seeing those gains again. Close to 140% increase with our reading and about 146% with our math. Data and understanding data has become huge. It's really starting to understand students and where students are at. We can look at our kids and see that we have some that are doing quite well. We can provide them enrichment. We have some that are on grade level. We can provide them enhancements. And those that need remediation, we can tailor the remediation to them. I can't imagine what our kindergarten students today are going to be like in five years. We're going to have to push forward just to keep them challenged. When we learn things together as teachers and as students, um, I feel like we, we have a sense of accomplishment and we'll just keep getting better at what we're doing. My vision of the students from Uinta County School District number one is they will have a true love of learning and they will have learned in the areas they are most passionate about. So I'm excited to see where these students will be in the future because of the opportunity they had to be a part of this.